Oh, hey, you fuckers, and welcome to the Terrible Podcast. I'm Nick. I am Brad. Today we're going to talk about some shit. Brad? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. Just dodicking the day away. Me too. Dodicking it. I spent all day dodicking the day. That's pretty cool, man. Away. It's pretty cool. Haven't worked much this week because of the rain. It's been a good week, though. It's been a good week. I've really, slept. dude? I've, got, I've caught up on some sleep. It's been pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I haven't done any of that. I have done a lot of uh, work around my house, and that's been pretty cool. I um, feel like we got it looking pretty pretty pimp tight in there, dude. Pimp tight. Pimp tight. We keep pimp it pimp tight, tight up in our crib. Hell yeah. That's pretty great. I just like sprinted through my house, by the way. I'm kind of out of breath right now. Oh, man. Fuck. It's it. heavy. It's heavy stuff. Well, you got to get your work out in, you know what I mean? Well, you know, fuck. Run a few steps here and there. Call it gravy. Uh, I went to the doctor for a physical yesterday. How was that? You have a primary fine, care fine. physician. Everything's fine. Yeah, I have a primary physician now, which is cool. But um, what is not cool... Okay, so I, I didn't have insurance there for, I guess, almost three years. Because they're like, the last time you were in here, it was 2016. And I'm like, that's cool. You know, let's just check me out, dude. So they uh, measured how tall I was and, and weighed me. Right? Mm. <laughs> and uh, first they weighed me, and then they measured how tall I was. And the lady goes, I don't want to say nurse because I'm not sure what her, her actual title is, by the way. The first lady who took me back and All did right. stuff was awesome, by the way. Um, and she goes, well, the good news is you haven't shrunk at all. And I'm like, oh, that's great. And then she didn't say anything. And I was like... Probably can't say the same thing about my weight, though, huh? And she goes, oh, well. And I'm like, well, mm-hmm. how bad is it? And um, <clears throat> I have gained uh, 15 pounds in three years. I mean, that's that doesn't seem horrific. <laughs> but it feels horrific, dude. You're, like, I mean, you're an old man now. I'm not that old. I'm 33. Yeah, that's when you start putting on weight. And I got just... these fucking buys, dude. Check them out. Really look at them, Brad. Damn. Them fuckers are rock hard. You can bounce quarters off. Uh, of well, these yeah, bikes. I mean, you could bounce quarters off of. Have a you thought dead about dead man's biceps? So <laughs> it's that's not an accurate representation. Uh, <laughs> would, um, would you like to see my tries, dude? Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'm more interested in. Oh wow! Check out my tries. You could fucking bounce quarters off of those tries, yeah, you dude. Could, in theory, you very well could bounce quarters off of those. Look at my face. <laughs> look, at look at my face when I fucking <laughs> flex. I feel like you're doing more of a pectoral flex than anything when you do that. But look at my face when I fucking flex. Brad. Also, your whole body is rigid and red. Oh yeah. god, I might pass out. Hold on. Yeah. Holy shit. That was everything you had. You're going to have a headache after doing Fuck. that, man. You yeah. just like you might have just fucked yourself up. That was a mistake. Hey, you want you want to know why um it felt like just you could feel my chest being super hard and strong? Sure. It's cuz I don't know how to flex my muscle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like just tense up everywhere, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, it's I guess it at least flexed your chest. I need to stop doing visual comedy right now, I think. I don't know how well that plays in a <laughs> podcast setting, but the I mean, if I can describe it as anything, I'd describe it as pretty rad what he just did. I mean I would <laughs> so call there it, we go. I would call it just straight up intense. Yeah. That whole thing was a, a nightmare. Boy, it gave me anxiety. Uh that is wild. Well, you can see it. You're a kind of a maniac. A maniac? Though? A little bit of a maniac. That's not cool. Why? Because I murder wasps? Is that why? Yeah. For one, you're a cold-blooded killer, and for two, you're just over here, like, just forcing all the blood in your body to your head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, well, boy, this is going to, he's going to harm himself <laughs> doing <laughs> this. So cold crazy. Just well, for you, Everything, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, that's special. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. That's special. I feel special. Well, I yeah. love trinkets like that. <clears throat> um, have I already asked you... Um, okay, I, I, meant, I meant to ask you this. Okay. How's it going, buddy? It's going great. It's going great. Okay. It's the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the a, point you're trying to make? Yeah. Ah. So listening back to our old podcast, uh, we can hear that we say the same things a lot. Like I say the words like and just a lot. And I probably 
just there's one used one dude i feel like <coughs> of I, each on this whole segue i feel like uh, everybody says like and just pretty often though like that's not as bad yeah hey i said like check it out but that's not as bad as mine check it out but here's me but like just also <laughs> dude just uh, like like, it's like i say just, i just went uh like uh like <laughs> i just say both of them a lot like a lot dude see there's another one just do date do nope <laughs> nope i dropped it couldn't dude, do it like just just do digging the day away like so uh, and um, you, what, what's mine did, you 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 uh you try to make points a lot yeah uh, and you always clarify them at the end of the point by saying and, and that's the point i'm trying to make <laughs> uh oh man and there's others for both of us just on the extreme it's but a crutch. That's, it, it really is. Yeah, I got uh, a lot of crutches. I fall into crutchy vocal patterns, and you fall into crutchy vocal patterns. You need to stop it. Well, I, I just feel like I fucking I get to the point, and then I don't know how to end it, and then I just go, "Oh yeah, I said just," and then I just go like, "This is the point I'm trying to make," and then <laughs> and, and then I'm like, yeah. "It's like yeah. that's my fucking cue." I'm like, "Yeah, dude, I'm saying like so much now." It See, turns now out. Con- now we're conscious of these things in this episode. This oh, one's my gonna God. be. This one's gonna be difficult. Really? I'll, I gotta try to avoid those things. All right. Um, we'll see how good I do. Yeah. Another we'll thing is that I, I give up on projects too easily, but that's just more of a personal that's... thing. If we're just picking ourselves apart, let's see what else. Yeah, I like getting halfway through things. I'm fairly negative most of the time. It kind of bothers me when I think about it later. Uh, you know, um, we're the, we've been working on overcoming that though. Yeah. I've been chasing one away at that marble it's of yours. Nice. You got a nice marble block of uh, not wanting to enjoy new things, and uh, and I'm like, "Yo, bro, give me a chisel. Call me Michelangelo, because I'm about to chisel out a dick on this bitch." (laughs) (laughs) And uh, and I'm working away at it, dude. Chiseling that dick out, dude. I'm chiseling the dick out of you. Imagine and uh, you know. Imagine the first like artist ever back in the day. That was the first one to say, well, um, actually, I need a couple more days because I, I just really want to make a penis on this statue. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I'm getting close, guys, but uh, the, the dick's not right yet. I, I yeah. need to. I really need to polish this dick out. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Hey, I got a few more days of polishing the rod, uh, and then it'll be ready. Don't worry, church. It'll be okay. I'm just working on the dick. Don't worry, church. I'm just trying to flesh this dick out a little bit. It's not quite what flesh I wanted to do. Flesh this dick out. <laughs> I'm just trying I just to need flesh to get out. A, a six or seven more dicks on this ceiling, and then you guys can open the yeah. doors back up. Well, I got all the hair and faces and eyes done. Uh, I'm going to start working on all the dicks tomorrow, and that should take about a week. And then from there, it's just the toenails, and we'll call her good. <laughs> And then, you know, I struggle I mean, with feet, so that's like another Shit, I got all the but... sky and trumpets painted. Look at all them clouds, man. <laughs> I got like two, three tops days of uh, dick detail left. And then, yeah. Well, anyway. what's going to take the longest is the dicks. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not happy with the dicks yet. Oh, hey, I forgot to silence my cell phone. Cool. Everything's cool. All right. Holy fuck, man. Yeah. No. 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 Um, hey Brad, I went to the grocery store today and had a situation, man. What was your sitch? I was behind this incredibly elderly lady that was um zombified? It felt like Zombified. Go let's she was like elaborate. A, she was like a normal looking older lady. Okay. Which is so fine. not like covered in sores. No, no, no. Aesthetically, just, not a zombie. Just the, just the fucking, just the way she was walking, dude. Was 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 zombie like? Okay. I mean, was she groaning while she did it? Probably. <laughs> did it, yeah, I, did it, it would not were have you surprised being, me. Did you feel some fear? She just she was what? shuffling, okay? She was shuffling along, which is fine. We all have to go grocery shopping, and people grow older, and I'm not making fun of her uh, age. 
Here, check it out. This is the point I'm trying to make. She fucking... I later saw her in her car driving in the parking lot. And and it legitimately concerns me that this woman is out there driving. Hey, I see a few of those every now and then. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm, I'm not one of those guys that... It's usually that says, when I'm in a hurry and they're going real slow. But also, like, I'm only like, boy, I'm concerned about this person's license ship when they're just, yeah. you know, bouncing off the lines the whole time and shit like that. No, dude, I'm it's... Not um, to critique old people You driving, know when I worry like, about it? Like, waiting for five minutes to pull out into traffic and then pull it out into traffic at the wrong time anyways. Yeah. Shit like that. Like, gen- genuine errors in driving. I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, it's a person's fucking bummer. About, person's about reached uh, reached it. <laughs> Boy, she's about there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, get it, this it's woman a chauffeur. Dude, it's just um, it's concerning. Oh, I don't man. know. I I don't know where I really sit there because I'm. I don't. I don't want to come off as take driver's licenses away from the elderly because no. That, that, that's not uh, fair and that's not right. Uh, that Yeah, that's only a step in what would have to be a far greater scheme for that to work. You know what I mean? Like, those people still need to get around, um, and the times when they do need to get around are probably a lot more, can be a lot more urgent. Likely. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, I, I, um, okay. so there needs to be a resolution to that. So I maybe agree. what I think is yearly driver evaluation past a certain age i don't know if that's fair or nice. yeah you know and i then, don't know if that's a nice thing to say and then a way for them to access the things they need i will gladly go uh get her groceries for her and bring yeah. them to her house no if yeah it, if it keeps her like safe, offers it, it I'm, it's safe. like there's a there's a market there for an app like uber or something but it just delivers groceries it's, it's like Poo it's or, meals on wheels or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But they just deliver groceries as but well. But it's steals on deals instead, dude. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'll charge her full price. And, I'm like, I'll charge her a little bit, too, probably. But, um, yeah. I mean, okay. So it's not really steals or deals. Oh. <laughs> but it's a cool name. Yeah. Rad <laughs> concept. It's a fucking really cool name and a solid concept. Tell you That's what, great. fuckers, go ahead and start that company yourself. I want, I'll just be happy. Yeah, for there you. you go. There's one for free. Hey. Uh, if you need any terrible business consulting, get a hold of us. Uh, the terrible people one at gmail dot or terrible podcast one. The terrible podcast one at gmail dot com. Is that our real e- email? Address? That's the real T mail. Is what I'm gonna call it because oh. we're terrible. We're going in there right now. That's T mail, dog. You got any T mail to send us? Oh, Let us know. The, the terrible people want at gmail dot com. <laughs> swear to swear to G. Chime off in the comments as well <laughs> about whatever the fuck. Yeah, just just say, uh, just say, say something yeah. to us. Rutabaga, and I'll be like, "Oh, fucking sweet, yeah, root vegetables. Let's get into it. Sweet yeah. potatoes, beets." If you uh, if you like this uh, episode of the podcast, please leave rutabaga in the comments, <laughs> and then <laughs> and check then out. If you don't like this episode, please leave rutabaga in the comments. <laughs> Just I want everybody to say rutabaga. Just comment and, rutabaga. And we will try and figure out whether you like us or not. Yeah. Probably not. Our numbers are low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, what else? What do you got? Show's over? Yep. No, we just got to cut it short halfway through today. Sometimes that's what's going on. just kind of fucking in yeah. your bed. No, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> All right, folks, this is a terrible podcast. Uh, no. I've, uh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I was ending it. I was, was fucking cutting FM it off. DJ boys? Yeah. All right, folks. Well, we are complete failures. And- <laughs> 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 oh, that was good. That was one of my favorites. Yeah, me too. Oh, man. Proud of that one. Those are called spoonerisms. That's the word for those. When you're saying something and you just fuck it up. You just can't get it yeah, out. Yeah, it's spoonerism. Um, what happened in my mind was... Oh no, I forgot how to make the letter L. <laughs> Family doers. <laughs>
do. Yeah, oh, <laughs> it's extreme. That was ridiculous. I love it. That's I, good stuff. I am a buffoon. That was good stuff. Oh, I'm man. Straight up buffoon. All right, dude. So you got this VR set now, oh, right? Yeah, I do. It's the, it's, it's the tits. It's really cool. I'm jealous of it because I'm just still playing with a controller and a TV. Just a flat I... ass TV. Yeah. Like a caveman. Yeah. Dude. Oh, um, man. Okay, so Fuck, virtual dude. reality is uh, the only way to play video games, it turns out. You just put yourself inside of a video game. I'm sorry, and what were you, you going to say about it? That it's Pretty dope? much that, yeah. yeah. I, wasn't, I had zero negative things to say about it. Because what I didn't realize about VR before was it's not just the screen and the goggles. Like You're not looking at a 2D surface close to your face. It makes a 3D image. Yes. I never realized it, that it does get to what they call stereoscopic yeah. vision. Dude, it it puts you so inside it, yeah, of the video. Yeah, like so. Then you're in like you you actually get a a truly three dimensional mm-hmm. experience in them. It's fucking wild. What sucks? You is, put in the earbuds. You can call that a fourth dimension at that point. It is because you know it's I mean? very um, interactive. The sound. Yeah. You'll turn your head yeah. one way, and uh, uh, anyway, you understand what I mean by that. Um. Yep. So I haven't played a regular video game since we got that like a month ago, dude. I just don't know if I'm capable. And I know there's a lot of people that are like, I mean, VR is cool, but you can't beat fucking and then insert game title. Man, it's cool. Whatever there's you're into, nostalgia it's cool. that you can't beat, but that's because you had fun playing those as a kid, and that's a personal thing. That's not well, like yeah. that's not. Yeah, no, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying it's you know you can't like. And I'm not trying to say that all of a sudden those games suck. Yeah, and that no, whole thing stuff, was pointless. Like, like there's games like that that you would enjoy playing at some point. It was a know. part of my life as well, but you, now this Fallout thing again. makes it so, to where I don't. I can't. I can't, dude. Well, it's uh, also still super fresh. It's not like you've had this thing for a year. Yeah, it's true. Um, it's a, a fancy... <laughs> my God. It's, Excuse uh, me. it's a fancy new gimmick that I'm living with. You know, whenever I want, I just utilize this fancy gimmick, dude. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Once once that becomes commonplace, yeah. be the death of society. But also... On, but what... Okay. And this is the other side of that concept is that's also a rebirth of society so don't get all shit out on like everybody turning into just uh blobs that are harnessed in a chair with headphones on and then they're just in somewhere else being happy okay here's how i would do it oh got my food iv got my recliner fucking i'm gonna hop into the sims 8 and be like what up i wake up in the morning i'm a fucking astronaut (laughs) I make my fucking coffee, dude. Yeah. I just realized what you said was very funny. (laughs) 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 But straight up, that's what it's going to be. And that's, I mean, that's one of the reasons VR is badass. Is because you could just be like, all right, now I'm a fucking surgeon. But the game is designed for me to be a shit ass surgeon and it's hilarious oh, about it. You know what I mean? So what I've been doing in that game lately is uh walking up to the dude and slapping him in the face <laughs> um, <laughs> repeatedly and his stupid head just moves from side to side because he's um cuz the creators of this game are fucking geniuses. Yeah, they're like we should make it to where you can slap the dude in the face. They're like what do what are people going to want to do in yeah. this scenario? And they're um, like, well, I put on the headset. I wanted to just kind of like smit. I wanted to poke the dude's nose. I wanted to pick it. And then I would put my fingers in his mouth. And then like I slapped his face a little bit. And they're like, all right. All right. So let's program that into the game. Yeah. Because that's what people are going to do. And it's super fun. I wonder what the statistics are on Surgeon Simulator yeah. about people trying to put their fingers in the patient's mouth. <laughs> Have you tried to do that? Have he you has, gone for his has, mouth? He has like a gas mask. Oh, on the whole so time, it just so, it's not a Yeah, there's no thing. mouth, but Fuck. there's a bunch of different kinds of surgery. Did you put your so. finger in his ear? Did you like give him a no, wet No, but willy? I did put a fucking drill in his ear. Uh, see, okay, yeah. And then the screen went all gray. People are fucking weird. It was like, hey, right, brutal dude, murder. I think and I bet the creators of this game realized that when they were programming this. Yeah. Um, okay, here okay. So VR could be the end of and rebirth of civilization, correct? Yeah. Yep. Here's how I would fucking do it. Okay, dude. man. I'm liking where this is going. Let's I'm going to wake up in the morning, 
my coffee, my eggs. Via my... IV or no, like, real oh, life, okay. dude. Um, we're we're in the real life matrix at this point in the story. Okay, like we're in the matrix right no, now. No, we're in the real life of the matrix. Okay, okay, I fuck. So my coffee, my fucking breakfast. I take my shower. I do a nice morning poop or whatever, dude. Okay. I think most of us do morning poops. Yes. Yeah. And then it's like nine o'clock and I'm like, all right, time to put my VR headset on and send my fucking robot to do his job for like eight hours. And maybe I control the robot for a little bit. Maybe he goes into autopilot for a little bit, but like... That could just be life, dude. I, you just sit there and drink coffee in your fucking underwear and control your work robot for a little bit. Wow. But you're just drinking coffee in your underwear, dude. I mean, you can put your you robot have, in that who, uncomfortable suit. Who says you even have to put the underwear on? You know what I mean? Well, I mean, that part is entirely up to you, Brad. That's the beauty of this scenario. That's His freedom still exists. Dude. That's crazy. That is brilliant. I never thought about how we're going to just... Uh, put on our vr headsets hop into our yeah. little like uh whatever uh, omnidirectional treadmills yeah that'd and be then cool. fucking that'd be cool. uh just <laughs> our robots around <laughs> <laughs> that's my best <laughs> robot voice <laughs> your fucking robot voice is fucking wild well here's the deal you put your peanut butter in my chocolate (laughs) there because i don't have good robot sounds but you have terrific robot sounds dude do it again you You make the robot walk i'll make him talk you ready (laughs) okay So that's what us being a robot would be like. <laughs> I fucking hate myself for that. Wow. Just for that, I hate myself. Mm, okay. Yeah. That, yeah, that one was a stretch of the imagination, but boy, did I enjoy it. That was... <laughs> uh, I kind of felt like my uh, robot extreme. sounded like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. But, like, with less emotion. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> one tone, monotone, but still shaggy. Yeah, still be... pretty much shaggy. Like he scoop. <laughs> like zoinks. <laughs> um, Ghost. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm going to stop doing it now. I swear to God. <laughs> I won't do it again. I'm probably going to do it again. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. Sound off in the comments with the word rutabaga. <coughs> if we're doing a good job or a bad job. Yeah. Meatbox.com promo code rutabaga. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by rutabagabox.gov. You get your rutabagas and you get your democracy all in one neat box. Vote for rutabagas at www.rutabagabox.gov. Backslash Carl. Backslash Carl. Um, <laughs> this what the fuck are we doing, dude? Dude, I don't know. We are out of control. <laughs> is what's going on now? Now we're just uh, out of control. I did want to mention one thing about video games earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think I can make it funny though. It's just more of a quick rant. If nothing else, I'll start talking like a robot again. <laughs> yeah, we'll laugh. Okay. We can just fall back to you. Continue. Being a robot. I've been playing this game called Ark. It's uh, one of those uh, survival uh, sandbox style games. So it's just a lot of grinding. Cause we out here like grinding. Where- <laughs> Like where you start off like in your underwear. Yeah, you start you off with like a cod piece break and then a bunch you go of trees. Yeah, you go punch a tree, a plant, and a rock and you make you a stone axe. All right. And then you go from there and eventually you're riding robot T Rexes and you're just taming giant prehistoric sharks and riding sailing the seven seas with them. And it's you know, it's, the concept's cool, the game's cool. There is a storyline in it. That's just hidden throughout the land, you know what I mean? So you just go discover it. Its primary focus is 
gameplay. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure I could get into something like that. Like you could I until really this like part. All right. So this is how like the game goes from start to finish, and you start discovering these stories and shit. Well, you realize you need to go through some caves. You need to find some relics. You use these relics to unlock three different boss battles. After you beat those bosses, you fight the ultimate boss or whatever with some more artifacts that you go find in places or something like that. And then that's how you progress through the game, right? Okay. Uh, as far as the progression of that shit goes. Like when you want to have cool boss fights, that's you got to do that shit. Okay, so uh, it turns out I'm playing this on Xbox. Uh, turns out you're playing it on Xbox? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It still hadn't been patched out on other shit but this game's been out for a while okay. i i mean i th- i think i'm playing the full game because they have like expansion packs and shit like i don't this thing's still in in development don't get me wrong they do updates and shit anyways i'm going to find this artifact and it turns out there's a game breaking glitch where this artifact doesn't spawn where it's supposed to in this fucking cave and it doesn't spawn anywhere accessible so then you're fucked and now i can't get to this boss in particular and it's a boss that i have to beat to get to the ultimate boss so there's no way i can actually beat quote unquote arc on my xbox so you have and i think that's fucked you have worked really hard and there's zero reward because now there's zero reward that I found out that because like I can has failed yeah you. I can I can collect some more artifacts if they aren't if they aren't game breakingly glitched uh, and fight one more boss but I'll never be able to get the third boss to get to the ultimate boss or whatever the fuck you know what I mean yeah that's and that's fucked that's, up because now very I can't frustrating. like if I ever wanted to view the ending cinematic of this game too fucking bad Brad you're fucked because we haven't fixed this shit and people have known about it for a long fucking time and apparently we don't give a shit and that's kind of how I feel about it Jesus Christ um Boy, you were inside everybody's ear there for a minute. That was pretty cool. Uh, hey, so let me ask you a question about this game, Gotta though. Gotta fucking smoke a cig about it. Now I'm stressed. In all seriousness. <laughs> yes. Okay. Is this a fucking flat game? A flat? Are you playing this on a flat television? Oh, yeah. Are you just looking at a picture? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> you need to get a fucking VR set. I understand that. Because listen, I've played on your VR set. I get it. Listen, it has not failed me once. Yeah, but like you also, it's like I have more hours in on an arc than you do on your entire VR set. Impossible. Not. Um, no, I, I like it's very possible. I've had an arc longer than you've had your VR set. It's impossible. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it's entirely possible. It hasn't happened. <laughs> so, okay. I do like the idea of a really fun dinosaur game where you're like friends with some dinosaurs, then you fucking fight yeah. some dinosaurs. Dude, don't fight. get me wrong. It's not like I fucking hate this game. I just hate that that bug's not fixed because the game is fun if you like those kind of games. I want to try it. I want to try it, but I don't want to buy it. Mm. And I can't deny it. That'll be a struggle because this is one of those games where it's like, to have fun in this, you got to put in some hours, bud. Or have people that you're playing with or something. I don't want either of those. I hate well, online gaming. I said it. You can play this in single player, but you have to work through the motions by yourself, and the game's designed for it to be done in a multiplayer fashion. But single player is fun, and it lets you play with all the options, uh-huh. so it's like you can set it up to where it's a good time no matter what. Can I tell you why I do not like online I video guess you gaming? can also... I started from bare bones because I wanted right. to learn how you need to do shit. You can also adjust that. You can unlock whatever in single player gaming. It's not, they make it so single player is still fun. You'd enjoy the single player, is what I'm trying to say. Is the point point that I'm trying to make. You know what we should do about our fucking, um, about our vocal crutches? What's that? We should, there should be a punishment. All right. There should be a a knife edge chop. Like a chop. From pro wrestling. That's a chop. For every time that, well, okay, it wouldn't be fair if it's for every time we say like or uh, just, because that's a lot. But is the point I'm trying to make is fucking enough words to where I should be able to realize that I'm about to say it and then not fucking say it. So if I say it, you're going to give me a knife edge chop. All right. It's going to be dope. We can do that. 
That's... So now I have to think of a reason that I can hit you as well. Oh, my God. Uh, with violence. <laughs> I'm going to hit you with the violence. I'm going to throw some violence at you. Uh, this is an idea that we need to cook up a little bit, but next episode, we might be striking each other. Apparently. Holy shit. Yeah, that would be extreme. All right. Uh, what did we learn today, Brad? Um... Apparently, I hate the elderly. Yeah, uh, you don't like old people driving, at least. You didn't hate on them in many other... Oh, well, I respect yeah, my he said she was like a zombie. She was walking like a fucking zombie, and then she was driving like a zombie. You don't yeah. hate elderly people, you just don't like how they walk okay. or how they drive. You just don't like how they get around the world that they live in. <laughs> I just don't respect the fact that they also still need to go do things. Apparently. <laughs> Um, we learned that Brad doesn't like his dinosaur game anymore. Yeah, my dinosaur game's fucked. That's bogus. Uh, we learned that we say a lot of things a lot. Yeah, virtual reality is Ooh. the way to go. Yeah, we learned that VR is the future of uh, humanity, and that if you don't like it, you're gonna. <laughs> so, <laughs> too bad. And there it is. And we learned that, I don't know, together we make a pretty solid robot, dude. Oh, dude, two yeah. in one. Pretty solid robot. <laughs> That's yeah. I'm not gonna do it again. That's a, um, okay. So <laughs> well, it's just I was just thinking that's a universal noise for everything that robot does. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. What does a what does a sprinting robot sound like? It goes. We hung him on a breast scoop. Let's get out of That's him going off in the distance. Good. All right. Well, it's been the worst fucking piece of shit podcast in the history of the well, world. We're only getting better, folks. Ain't that right? <laughs> Thanks only for joining better. us. I'm Nick. I am Brad. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself.